those vivid images still flash before my eyes. Giorgio, my barber, complimenting my lush crop of hair. Angelica, my friendly neighbor, playfully running her fingers through them. Then there I was, on the dance floor, boogieing away to the latest Ricky Martin number, hair swaying to the beat. Alas, those were the days. I was 35 when I first noticed the signs. It was devastating. At least you are not alone, said Valencia, my wife, trying to be supportive. Berlusconi is bold too, and he is Prime Minister, said little Sophia, offering no help at all. The destruction continued unabated. If I could not defeat my enemy, I would understand him better. I went to the Professor Ori, Professor Ori Google. Oh, life is cruel. If I were a woman, things may have not have been this way. I should have been born Chinese. They lose less hair than us. Oh, why am I made in Italy? Could I not be made in China? Professor Ori tells me that natural loss of hair is called androgenetic alopecia. Oh, that's such a long term. I had to ask my friend Andrew uh, to help me understand it. We humans have around 5 million hair follicles on our bodies. Around 100,000 of them are on the human head. A hair follicle produces hair, hair that Dominico is currently craving for. Men also produce a hormone called testosterone. It is important for sexual and reproductive development. Human bodies can also contain enzymes, substances that cause biochemical reactions. And these enzymes convert testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. Dihydrotestosterone is present, among other places, in hair follicles. And dihydrotestosterone, among other things, makes hair shorter and thinner. This process is slow and it takes a long time before hair loss can be experienced. So, tough luck, Dominico. Oh, I could be stressed and start smoking all over again, but uh, this could make things worse. Uh, maybe I should look at the bright side. Hmm? Think of the money saved on haircuts and shampoo. <laughs> I will never grow grey. Oh, and my beautiful eyes, they will stand out. And... Bald men can be beautiful. Oh, come, and um, I will show you my collection. You see? <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> oh, but... Whoosh, don't tell Valencia I said that. <laughs> and ciao.